The inspiration for this mural project began with Archibald Molly Jr.'s Bronzeville at Night on loan to SAMA from the Art Bridges Foundation. San Antonio is full of rich cultures and communities, and we wanted to highlight that through the creation of three murals. Murals are powerful statements that have been used to express political thought and history, and of course, provide visual imagery of freedom and hope. Muralism and even graffiti allows for black and brown communities to take up and claim space for themselves. With the help of San Anto Cultural Arts, our community partner who are mural experts, we put out an open call for San Antonio-based artists. We selected Sandra Gonzalez for the East Side at Tony G Soul Food Restaurant, Susie Gonzalez for Sama, and Victor Zarazua for Huichos Mexican Deli on the West Side. Each artist created two designs and we asked community members to vote on their favorite. Bronzeville at Night is the definition of community. It's a colorful and energetic painting that illustrates a slice of city life that includes everyone. And like Archibald Motley, that's where we started, with community in mind. When I first saw the painting by Archibald Motley Jr., the Bronzeville at Night um, image, I was first really drawn to the palette. And I love how um, nighttime, how uh, it can be represented like different violets and reds. And also what drew me to it was like this kind of lack of a focal point or a main subject because, you know, it's about community, right? It's not about just like one figure. And so you're looking around, looking around and observing all the different little things happening. And I think that inspired me by wanting to have this kind of central figure figure um, of pulled from a codex um, that is the river that is Yanawana with all kinds of folks, all kinds of people um, doing what they do in the city and how it's kind of sort of following that same movement of Motley's painting where you're jumping kind of from figure to figure and looking for new things. Motley was the first American painter to showcase uh, the uh, African-American uh, social life and I really love the vibrancy on his paintings, especially the painting Bronzeville at Night, it really showcases the music, the jazz influence. So that's what I wanted to do with my mural. And, uh, and I think it's gonna reflect that. We are uh, painting the portraits of uh, Miles Davis and Ada James. So after seeing Bronzeville at Night, um, then I went out to the site and I started looking around. I noticed there was a lot of similarities um, there's like a lot of local businesses there, um, galleys and, and bars and lounges and small like retail places. So I use that for the idea for my mock-up. Once they chose which mural design they wanted to see, it was time to get busy. Each artist took different approaches to the murals. Victor chose to spray paint while Sandra used a relatively new way of painting murals on polytap cloth. Susie decided to jigsaw and paint wood panels that would be screwed into a brick building. I'm cutting out um, panels, I'm jigsawing them, and then I'm kind of priming, painting the, the figures, um, and we're adhering them to the wall. So it's kind of like a collage aesthetic. I think I've been jigsawing for like over 10 years. I always was kind of drawn to um, pulling out a figure. The background's not like I'm not excited about as much, you know? Uh, and so it's always about, yeah, like bringing that figure forward. And so I had found, you know, one way to do that is just like cut them out and, you know, stick them on the wall or stick them in space. And it's so cool because when you're doing it, you're like, I am drawing with a blade. <laughs> And it's a drawing process. It's really fun and you can, you know, get really detailed into it and, um, uh, you know, really focused in it. And, I, you know, I got a Dremel and I just like don't need it because you can do everything um, with a jigsaw. I'm using the polytap technique and it's a fabric that it is used in Philadelphia. They have been doing it since the early 90s. The reason they do it is because of the harsh uh, weather conditions over there in Philly. So they developed this technique to find a way to paint indoors and also invite the community to be part of the murals. It's very soft to the touch and it comes in big rolls like this. And then we just cut it into sections. So once it's primed, then it, it, it acquires a different texture. So it's more like a canvas-like but lighter. Then uh, we draw our design, our mural, then we paint it. 
I have been using Nova Color Paint, which is excellent. I know other artists use it because it's vibrant and we know it's gonna last for many years, especially uh, painting outdoor murals. Then when it comes to, ins uh, to install these panels, it's like wallpaper. You have to um, add an adhesive on the surface of the wall. Then once it dries, um, the material, it would take the shape of the wall of the surface. So we can install in brick walls, stucco walls, any type of surface. So my background in graffiti, I've been doing a practitioner of graffiti for like 31 years now. So most of my life's been tied up to that. And using like aerosol and spray paint really helps. It's fat, you know, it's a faster medium. It's real forgiving as well. So I'm using like a post graffiti style and it's a little bit abstract as well. No matter how each artist chose to work, they each had community helping days. Folks helped paint the background for Tony G's mural. Susie invited the people who are represented in her mural to help paint themselves in the Yanawana River. Victor unfortunately suffered a stroke and could not complete his mural himself, but his muralist friend Cesar Garcia stepped in along with so many others to help complete the murals at Huichos. Interpreting his design was definitely tricky because it wasn't my image and he has a very like intricate style but once we got laid out like the sketch and everything that was the hardest part was scaling it to the wall and then getting the sketch done. Um, once we did that you know that's when everybody kind of came together to fill everything in and so basically like I labeled the spray cans and matched them to certain colors on the wall and that way pretty much anybody experienced or no experience can come and help. Yeah, it was a really great turnout. It was just really nice to see everybody come out and support. A lot of it for me is wanting to, you know, highlight folks doing the work to continue this connecting to the roots, um, whether that's through like art or healing um, or activism or different practices. And so I wanted the river to be central and have everyone kind of existing around it. And we got to hold a beautiful community mural painting day where the folks that are represented in the mural actually got to put their hands on it. And I was having this moment like, y'all are manifesting like the very river that like I, like I see you like existing like amongst and within and like tending to and caring for. And I think art is a beautiful therapy, right? And so for me, yeah, I just want it to be about look at these great people thriving. As soon as we got there, we had people waiting for us ready to paint. So it was really nice. So they can be part of that beginning process of like setting all the colors down. And once we do it, it's more about uh, paint by color. So we, we just guide the people, we let them know what to do, like where to paint the sections. Then when we come to the studio, we work on final uh, touch-ups. The feedback from the community uh, has been crucial on this project because uh, I really loved how we asked people what they wanted to see on their neighborhood. So they came forward, they, they said they wanted to see, yeah, to embrace the African-American culture, some music. I know at 20 years they play music. So that's what we wanted to focus on. And also we spoke to the owners, uh, uh, Mary and Tony, and they like really bright colors. So we put everything together, all those elements, and hopefully uh, the people from the neighborhood, when they get to see it, they see you know, why they chose uh, and why they wanted to, to be featured on these walls. Being a part of this mural, it, it really, it's for my friend Victor. He's a really great friend. You know, until recently, the past like five or six years, I've been painting more. And I feel like maybe like I got on his radar a little bit and you know, we got a lot closer through that. Um, and he put me in his crew, kind of became like a mentor, you know, helped me get a lot better and um, just really opened up a lot of doors for me. So um, any opportunity I can do to like keep his art going and keep the momentum going, you know, I will. And for me also, I would have never thought I'd be working with the San Antonio Museum of Art, you know what I mean, for coming from a graffiti background. It's an eye-opening experience for sure. And yeah, I know Victor was extremely excited and really happy to do this project. So, you know, I'm just trying to live that up and make him proud. Something I love about public art is that it's like for the people, right? 
there is a, a certain type of person that goes into a gallery or museum that um, isn't everyone, right? And so there's this, you know, feeling of, well, if it's out in public, it's it's for everyone. And I, and I love that. And so I think that it's really fitting to get the feedback from the folks that actually live in the community, are going to be seeing it, um, you know, every day or every time they visit SAMA. And I really love that it's this kind of collaboration between um, the artists and the folks in the community. And it was also really fun and helpful to see what people wanted to see and like see how it aligned with what I already kind of wanted um, and then adding new things in as well. So um, I, I feel really kind of lucky to have gotten that feedback and that kind of collaboration. This is truly what muralism is about. It's of the people, for the people, by the people. After experiencing one of the most difficult years, it's so heartwarming and it's a sign of hope to see people gather together and make art with their community. Go check out each location to see the hard work of everyone involved. These murals are for everyone to enjoy. This is San Antonio.